Hi, Gregor, and thanks for joining me today. You're the leader of the AI Council. Uh, maybe you should tell everybody why do we do it and how do we run that in, in AVB? Hi, Walter. It's great to be here. And let me start with saying what is so special about the approach to AI we have in AVB? And what is, I think is different than many others are doing is that we do it in a very decentralized way. It's our businesses who work close with the customers who decide what kind of AI solutions they want to develop because they understand better than everybody else what the customer needs and what creates real value now or in the future. But then, of course, we don't want to reinvent the wheel every time. So that's where the AI Council comes in. The AI Council is the group of the people across ABB that drive AI, and we meet on a regular basis to share experiences, share ideas, but also to look into to make sure that we will comply with the regulations in the AI area across ABB. Good. So AI in the ABB way doing it fast in the business, but also making sure that we don't waste opportunities in a good way. So what's the practical outcomes, what you've seen so far? I think you have some really good examples that uh, you have learned now sitting in the AI Council. Yes, I mean, it's always difficult to pick a few out of the big number we have, but um, let me take three. Now I start with the ABB Ability Genix Copilot, which is actually an AI supported tool that takes real time data for operations for multiple sources, including our own ability, I.O. and AI platform, um, and then creates predictions, alerts, recommendations for operators in a very easy to understand and easy interfacing way that allows then companies to improve efficiency, reduce cost for operations and maintenance, um, reduce the sustainability footprint, for instance. Um, and that is typically done in industries um, of, of different types and utilities. Right, so a little AI agent that is uh, representing the knowledge of ABB expertise yes. on premise. Yes, and in a very easy way, yeah. right? Yeah. The second thing is um, what we have our um, three dimensional vision mapping and navigation technology for our mobile robots. We basically give these mobile robots eyes so that they can create a 3D perception of the environment they are in and the brain that they can understand and what the things are they see and create a map on their own and then navigate through that even in a dynamic way. And that has a big advantage over conventional things because you don't need any infrastructure to put in place. That can reduce the commissioning time for complex applications from weeks to days. And it increases the speed with which the AGV can move, which means that you, know, you increase efficiency by 20%. And we're having big customers of that new technology like Ford and Michelin. We're really excited about that and are using it. And then the third one is um, a motor anomaly detection tool. It sounds very simple, but it's a great idea where we use our ABB ability smart sensor that you can actually retrofit the motor with. It detects the vibrations and you connect that to an artificial intelligence engine that then understands if something may come become wrong with the, with the motor, can do you know, predictive maintenance recommendations. I mean, that can be used in multiple industries and infrastructure, in data centers, in buildings, in food and beverage, in mines, etc., in a very simple way. Mm. Super cool examples. Yeah. And, uh, I, but in today's world, we are doing a lot, but others and the world is not really not standing still in this yes. area. So how do we stay ahead of the curve? Yeah, I think one of the th key elements of that is what we said at the beginning, what's special about us, which is we are letting the businesses decide that because they know what's coming. They know what the future things are that, that the customers want. And you know, we're having a huge amount of people in our um, R&D, for instance, that deal with digital and AI. It's about half of the people who do that. And we have already half projects implemented or under development of more than 250. And that pipeline is rapidly growing. So you know, there are things are happening. And we, in ABB, we have a very open, um, when you talk about innovation ecosystem. How do we, can we use that and, and engage on many fronts uh, when it comes to AI? I think, first of all, it is really very important that we do that. I mean, AI is such a dynamic thing. We would not be able to do that completely on our own. And we're using different approaches and different tools. One is what we call our AI accelerators, which actually the last version just finished last week in Shanghai, where we bring our AI experts excellent partners and customers together to a few days event to work on new cases, to have showcases and share 
and to learn from each other. And we even open the learning sessions to the whole population of AVB so that we can spread the knowledge um, wider in AVB. The second thing we have, we have you know, our partnership with Synally, which is a company is set up uh, to help and to foster um, and to, to mentor startups. And there are about 260 or more of these projects in that facility and you know, with then ABB can work with. The third thing that we typically and very often do is what we call innovation challenges. We go out to the startup community across the world and say, look, if you have a technology that can help us save, solve a certain problem, why don't you come present it to us? We get through a screening and selection process. We go with some of them proof of concepts. And at the end, we will end up with a few of them that actually will work together with us on bringing a con solution to the market. I've talked about that eyes and brains of our mobile robots before. This actually was a result of one of these innovation challenges that we had in the past. No, oh, cool. And I've been to some of these innovation challenges myself uh, back in my old business days. <laughs> and I was one of the coolest experiences to see how we can use technologies and, and solving some of the world's biggest problem. And it doesn't matter if it's electrification or automation. It, the, it, the solutions exist out there with uh, what we can do at ABB combined with the, also with startups. So I think that's a really good practice that we sh uh, should continue with. Yes. Thanks, Gregor. It sounds like we're making pretty good progress in the space. So I'd also like to thank you for your contribution, but everybody in the AI community for sharing many of these great practices, because then we can become across company solutions. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Morten. I think a lot of has happened already. Even more will come in the future. So thank you again. Excellent.